book of Ephesians, chapter 6, verse 12. It says, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, mm -hmm. against the rulers of the darkness of this world. This takes you back to the your rough child, the ones, the true powers, yes, the Illuminati, yes, family, the shadow government, eh? Your prime ministers, your president's family, they are just the puppet. They are not the one pulling the strings, family. They have been controlled. These are the powers, family, that are what the Lord is referring to. It says here, let's start from the top. Ephesians chapter 6, eh? Starting from verse 12, it says, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places, in high places, family. But guess who is allowing them to do it? It is the Lord, family. The Lord, Yahweh Bahashem, that is allowing them to do it. Remember, the deceived and the deceiver are both his. He formed the light and created darkness, family. He made peace and created evil. The Lord alone did this. Yes, the devils know that they have but a short time. So, family, they're coming down with great wrath. I would like to begin this lesson by giving honor and glory to the power of our forefathers, starting from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The power that I'm referring to, his name is Yahweh. In ancient Hebrew, meaning he is, and his only begotten son, the Redeemer. Yes, the only begotten, the beginning and the ending. That's right. Yahweh Shai. He came, he is the, the root and offspring of King David, the bright and morning star. The only reason why I'm able to open my mouth and get the proper understanding of this beautiful, Bread, that's right. Yahweh Shai is the bread. Yahweh Shai is the water. For me to have understanding of this epistles, this gospel family is because of Yahweh Shai. The only person who was worthy to take, remove the seal of the book, meaning the understanding of the book. Our king, Yahweh Shai, the conquering lion from the tribe of Judah family, this is his show. It says, I come in the volume of the book, family from Genesis all the way to Revelation. It's all about Yahweh Shai. He's the king that we are waiting to serve in the kingdom, which is going to be on this planet. And I pray that he find me worthy eh, to bless me with salvation. That's what it's all about, family. The saving of our soul. The first fruit. This is what it's all about. His name is Yahweh Shai. And family to you. The elect of Israel. Shalom. Double honors to the apostles. From the great millstone that taught me this truth. Yes family. Somebody have to teach us. And the Lord brought this beautiful apostles. The elders. The teachers. Eh? To open our eyes to this truth. The gospel. Of the kingdom family we are blessed indeed if you have this you sing in this song in this last days you are blessed and family we don't take it for granted i come to you with the the the, the, the utmost humility family because this is a this we don't take this lightly like i said this is a gift that the lord has given us and nobody should be proud nobody should be boastful yes we haven't done anything to deserve this mercy. I always have to say that. Because we know we are not perfect day in and day out. We have a forgiveness of sins. Yes. But somehow the Lord continued to sup with us. Continue to open our eyes. Continue to give us the precepts to put these lessons together. That's the Holy Spirit. That's the Holy Spirit family. And we don't take it for granted. Again, it's your brother Malak family. I want to get into two articles through the Spirit, Lord willing. And I hope you edify when it's all said and done. Um, 
We know that the devil, he knows, the, the family, they know that they have a short time. So they want to take as many people down as possible. They want to they wanna destroy everything, literally. That's what they want to do. You know, they want to do everything. They want to destroy our children. And this is what is coming. That's the next step. We know pedophilia is family. It's rampant. Yes, in Hollywood, family. Yes, your leaders, you know, doesn't matter who they are. Fam, these are what they are into. Yes, little children, little kids, even the Pope. Uh, what is it called? Not the Pope. That whole Catholic church, family. That's all they specialize in. Yes, destroying our children. The family now is in the open. I came across this article this afternoon through the Spirit. And family, I hope uh, when it's all said and done, you will edify. And uh, it goes in. It goes in, not too much, but there's another article that I will bring up after this, you know. And uh, these are the times that we are living in. The same thing that was happening in Sodom and Gomorrah, you can get that account in Genesis 19.5. The same thing is happening now. The family now is in the open. Our children are the next target for these devils. Yes, that's why the Lord is coming to remove them. And we cannot wait. That's why it says America is going to be what? America is going to be the Lord's altar. That's right. The Lord has a sacrifice in Bozrah. Yes, yeah, the lake of fire is going to be an America. America is going to be a monument. America is going to be a, a, a monument which is going to remind the nation how not to live. That's right. The same way Sodom and Gomorrah. Yes, the Lord left the monument. So now people will go back and say, whoa, this is what the Lord did, uh, did to the ungodly. Yes. The wicked. That's how not to live your life. That's what is going to happen to America. The time is fast approaching. But family, let's get into recess. This is from Blacklisted News. Flashbacks. Kanye, Kanye warned about protecting kids from sublim, subliminal messages in media. Family, we know that Hollywood, yes, especially Hollywood family, is the main branch of our CIA. Yes, this is what they use to destroy society. Yes. Family, don't get it twisted. The same way they gave you white Jesus through their media and thinking that the king, Yahweh Shai, is the so-called white man. No, family. That's what they use Hollywood. That's what they use their media for everything, family. It's all being controlled. But now, family, we know the truth now thanks to our power, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Because Yahweh Shai, our king himself, said, you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. Family, we don't believe anything that comes through uh, uh, their, their media anymore. Eh? We see everything through what? The spiritual lens. And guess who did that for us? Our power, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh, Shai. Yeah, we know what's up. We, yes, we do know what's up. Yeah, we not. Was Isaiah 10, 20? No, we are not, not going to depend on you anymore. No, no, no. Now we are back with our Lord, Yahweh. But Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, and family, it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing that the Lord, after everything that we've done, yes, He divorced us. Mm -hmm. He gave us a bill of divorce, and then He brought His Son to come and bring us back. Yahweh, Shai, redeemed us again to bring us back to our power, Yahweh, Bahashem, family. We owe everything to our King, Yahweh, Shai. He's the only reason why we are back with our power, Yahweh. Without Yahweh Shai, we are lost. And without Yahweh Shai, you can't get to the Father. Family, Yahweh Shai is our intercessor. That's right. Our spokesman. Everything goes through him. Family, the last time I checked, he was the only one that went on the cross for us. That's right. So we owe him our life. It says here, in light of the Balenciaga disgrace, some are recalling a warning by Kanye West that children were being exposed to harmful subliminal messaging in media. As we previously highlighted, despite news outlet declaring the issue to be conspiracy theory, that's one thing about these devils. Eh? Next, you bring the truth out, they call it conspiracy theory. That's it, family. They don't, they, they, that's it. They shut you down. But family, we are at a time where, you know, the truth, family, you can't hide it. It says the truth is like a, uh, what's that? It's, it's like a lion. It doesn't need to be defended. Just let it out. Eh? It will defend itself. But the thing is, you know what, family, like the Lord says, 
in the book of Luke chapter 8, 12, sorry, 8, 17. It says, there's nothing hidden that shall not be revealed. Family, all the wickedness that these devils have done over the years, yes, all their child sacrifice in Hollywood, it's all coming up. You know who's doing it? The Lord. Before the Lord bring the fire, eh? family, right now, this is the judgment stage. Yeah, you got to bring the evidence. It's a court of law, family. You can't convey somebody without bringing the evidence out. No, you have to present your case. You have exhibit one, exhibit two, exhibit three, exhibit four. But Esau's exhibit, this current rulership, their exhibit family, you can't contain it. It's sweet family, but it's, it's all coming out. Oh, the Lord is going to present it. Oh, the Lord kept the score. He's going to present all his evidence. Yes, all the exhibit is going to be presented. All these nations are going to see before he brings the judgment. That's what is happening right now. That's why, family, all the secrets are coming out. The secrets are coming out. But, family, they are coming after our children. That's right. Family, there's no limit to these devils. There's no limit. That's why it says the earth was given into the hand of the wicked. They are the one in rulership right now. But we know that eventually they're going to be going after each other. And family, that's exactly what we want. We want the chaos in the midst of that chaos, in the midst of that tribulation. That's how our king, Yahweh is going to show up. And that's what we're waiting for, family. That's what we're waiting for. For finally, for this wicked kingdom to go down. And then the Lord, Yahweh, along with his only begotten son, Yahweh it's coming to establish a righteous kingdom. And that's what we're waiting for. A righteous kingdom, family. A righteous kingdom. That's what it's all about. All this wickedness is going to be wiped off along with the Edomites, the so-called white people. Yes, their judgment is coming. Oh, let's read it. It says here, Images to promote Balenciaga Paris Fashion Week Spring Summer 2023 collection showed young girls holding plush bear bags adorned with bondage gear. Hmm? The bears are seen wearing padlocks, fishnets, leather harnesses, as well as ankle and wrist restraint. Hmm? I thought people were trolling, but nope, it's real. Maybe this is why Balenciaga left Twitter. They don't want to be held accountable. Yes, these are children holding teddy bears dressed in bondage outfit. Family, pedophilia are the best. Family, this is what they are promoting. They want to normalize everything. But family, there's a clip that I came across. Where is, where is her? Yeah. Family, this lady doesn't need any introduction. Hear what she had to say. And family, we're going to bring the precept out. Candace Owen. You now have Balenciaga, one of the loudest brands in the world, biggest brands in the world, loudest brands in the world, with a fleet of A-list celebrities, okay, that stand behind them. This is the same Balenciaga that just dropped Yay for being anti-Semitic, okay? And they are now putting on display child pornography. Now, because Tucker Carlson did a segment on this and drummed up a response to this, they have now issued a statement saying that they should have never featured the children in the campaign. That's it. That's, we should have never featured the children. Forget the fact that we have papers celebrating child pornography under the purses, but we got caught, so oopsie, we're sorry. Now, here is what I know to be true. Kim Kardashian, girl, I know, I just know, you are going to find that same energy that you found, that you and your sister Chloe found to write a tweet against your husband, condemning anti-Semitism and all of its forms, that copy and pasted rhetoric that you meant nothing when you even pasted it. But I know that since you found that energy to condemn that anti-Semitism, that you are going to find that same energy, that same exact effing energy to stand up and to condemn Balenciaga. Because girl, we know that you are desperate for fame. You sold your own body for it. We know that all you ever wanted in your life was to be invited to Balenciaga parties and to be invited to places that Anna Wintour are. But we, we know that at the same time, you are gonna find a little bit of whatever soul you have left to take a strong stance against child pornography and pedophilia. To take a powerful stance by saying that you will no longer wreck this brand. It's that easy. A tweet will suffice. In fact, let me help with the language. I condemn 
child pornography and all of its forms. And I will no longer associate myself with Balenciaga, which just tried to pull the wool over society's eyes by essentially saying that they are happy that laws were struck down against the Child Pornography Prevention Act, because that's what Ashcroft's decision was. The Child Pornography Prevention Act removed parts of the guts of that law, the Prevention Act, which prevented virtual child pornography. So I know you are just looking for the right words. <laughs> family america is known as spiritual sodom and egypt yes because we know that all the wickedness that was going on in the days of lot that's right that's the same thing that is happening now that's right in america family you can wake up tomorrow and say you want to marry a goat you want to have sex with a cow Yes, you can grab your chicken half sex. That's right. These are the things that are going on right now in America. That's right. Yes, these are the things that are going on. There's nothing new under the sun. Family, I quoted Genesis 19.5. Let's bring it out, family. That's why the Lord is going to turn America into the lake of fire. And yes, family, we will rejoice. Oh, yes. We will rejoice. Finally, we will rejoice. Family, it's going to be a great day. Genesis chapter 19, verse 5. It says here. Let's pick it up from verse. So just a, a little background here, family. So before the Lord destroyed Sodom, there was a one good man, which is Lot. Lot is Abraham's nephew. Okay? Abraham's nephew. And Abraham said to the Lord, Lord, please just let, let, allow my, my nephew and his family to get out. So the angels that the Lord sent went to get Lot out of Sodom and Gomorrah family. And what had ended up happening? When the angels showed up, eh, these wicked men, eh, your so-called LGBT community family, they went after the angels. They told Lot, listen, we want to know these men. But they didn't know that they were angels, family. This is how wicked these people are. They wanted to sleep with the angel that the Lord sent to get Lot out of Sodom and Gomorrah before he brought, that's right, the brimstone and destroyed our land. Family, let's pick up the account. It says here. Uh, here, Genesis chapter 19. Verse 5, let's verse 3. Let's, just, let's pick it up from verse 3. But Lot insisted, so at last they went home with him. Lot prepared a feast for them, complete with fresh bread made without yeast, and they ate. And these are the angel family. But before they retired for their night, all the men of Sodom, hmm? listen to this family, Sodom, young and old, came from all over the city. And surrounded the house. Eh? That's right. Your alphabet crew, they came, surrounded Lot's house. Family, let's continue. It says, they shouted to Lot, where are the men who came to spend the night with you? Bring them out to us so we can have sex with them. This, that's the NLT version, family. This is what they wanted. So they can have sex with them. But here, listen to this, verse 6. It says, So Lot stepped outside to talk to them, shouting the, sh oh no, sh shutting the door behind him. Please, my brothers. He begged, don't do such wicked thing. Look, I have two virgin daughters. Let me bring them out to you. And you can do with them as you wish. But please, leave these men alone, for they are my guests and are under my protection. You see? Even Lot was willing to offer his own virgin daughters to these devils. That's right. Your LGBT crew. Your alphabet crew. He says here, verse 9, stand back, they shouted. These are the devils. Family, listen to this. The man of Sodom says, stand back. They shouted. This fellow came to town as an outsider and now he's acting like our judge. We will treat you far worse than those other men. And they launched towards Lord to break down the door. And family, we know the rest. Because eventually, the angel blinded these devils. Okay? Yes. The crew. 
the alphabet crew that came after the angels. Yes, family. There's nothing new under the sun. That's the same thing is happening in America right now and across the Western Hemisphere. So what do you think is going to happen? What judgment do you think the Lord is bringing? They're coming after your kid, family. They're telling your six-year-old to change their sex. Yes. This place is full of confusion. That is why, family, we are praying for the destruction of this place. That the Lord will send his only begotten son, our redeemer, our king, Yahweh Shai, along with the angels, along with the missiles, the lasers. Yes, to turn this place into the lake of fire. Yes, this is what we are waiting for. Nahum, chapter 3. Family, America is modern day Nineveh because this is the same thing that was happening then. And we know that this account took place in Nineveh, but family, listen to this. It says here, Nahum chapter 3, this is the NLT verse. It says, What sorrow awaits Nineveh? This which is a modern day America. He says here, The city of murder and lies. She is crammed with wealth and is never without victims. That's right. All these nations, America have destroyed to accumulate their wealth. Yes, modern day is who? Iraq, Libya, Syria. They are still in Syria, stealing oil. Because why? Family, that is their lot. Their strike. Esau was blessed with the sword. And yes, that's how they make their living. Their military, family, that's their sword. He says here, here, the cracking whips, the rumble of wheels, horses, hooves, pound and chariots clatter widely. He says here, see the flashing sword and glittering spears as the chariot tears charge past. He said there are countless casualties, heaps of blood, uh, sorry, heaps of bloodies, sorry, heaps of bodies. So many bodies that people stumble over them. This is what the Lord is about to do. He said the slain of the Lord is going to be many. All this because Nineveh, the beautiful and the faithless city, mistress of deadly charms, entice the nations with her beauty. She taught them all her magic, enchanting people everywhere. I am your enemy, says the Lord. That's right. You've used your sorcery, which is your, your media. Yes your media, your television, your movies, eh? to fool the world. That's why right. most of these nations model their countries after America. Americanized, yes. Your building, your, your, your skyscrapers. But they don't know that you are full of robberies and wickedness. Your democracy is pushing foul behaviors. That's right. Do as thou will. This is what you continue to push. But the Lord has seen enough of your nonsense. And that's why the Lord is about to turn this place into the lake of fire. All praises to our power, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. He says here. It says, Behold, I am against thee, says the Lord of hosts, and I will discover thy skirts. Upon thy face, and I will show the nations thy nakedness, their sin, that's right, and the kingdom thy shame, and I will cast abominable filth upon thee, and make thee vile, and will set thee as a gazing stock. The whole the entire world is laughing at you. The entire world is laughing at you. Because I can tell you this. There's another article I want to share with you, family. Look at this article here. This is from Russia. It says, Russia blasts U.S. over the LGBTQ law interference. Diplomats have condemned America's attacks on a bill banning propaganda-related non-traditional lifestyle. Listen to this. By criticizing Russia legislation, they are criticizing Russia le legislation. You see? That's why, family, you can see the contrast here. This is their democracy. Push These are the nonsense that they call democracy, pushing it on everybody else. Yes. But Russia is standing back and saying, no, we don't want this. 
This is not for us. Listen to this. It says, by criticizing Russia legislation banning the LGBTQ pedophilia and sex change propaganda, U.S. officials are interfering in the nation's internal affairs. Moscow Embassy in Washington said on Friday, it also urged the U.S. to respect the views of the Russia people. Russia said, just leave us alone. This is what we are doing in our country. We believe in traditional marriage. Yes. Traditional family. This is our right. But you see, the Lord eh, is showing you wickedness and righteousness. Family, at the end of the day, they're all the same people. But family, the Lord is making you know that America is a gazing star. Yeah, family, everybody is laughing at America. The whole that's it on many waters. This is what you're pushing in the West. This is what they push in the West, period. EU, Canada, Britain, United Kingdom, sorry, uh, what is it called? Uh, UK, sorry, uh, Australia, New Zealand, the West family. This is what they push. Hmm? It says in a statement, the embassy said it had noted the statement of numerous of U.S. officials criticizing the bill which was approved by Russia Parliament on Thursday. We consider such statement as gross interference in our internal affairs, the diplomatic mission said, adding that Russia consistently stands for the protection, listen to this, protection of traditional family values and rejects attempts by Western states led by the United States to impose pseudo-liberal and perverted ideas hmm, about human rights on other countries. That's why, that's why family... This is what's going to lead to war. Because the worst want to push their democracy on everybody. And Russia and the rest of the global south is not going to tolerate it. And eventually the Lord's will is going to be fulfilled. That's right. The Lord Council is always going to stand. Because Russia is going to play a major role in prophecy. It is Russia that's going to lead the nations to take on Babylon the Great. America and its allies pursuing to uh, Ezekiel chapter 38 and many precepts and many scriptures, the holy scriptures in the Bible. Family, they are going to lead this nation to take down America. And then Yahweh Shai, along with the angels, are just going to come up and finish what the nation starts. That's it, family. And then we are going home. Oh, yeah, we're going to see, Lord willing, we're going to see. The destruction of this wicked kingdom and the, the and then the new Jerusalem, which is gonna come down, family. Yes, we're gonna come down in those beautiful chariots and we're gonna rebuild this earth, it's gonna be refreshed. But these people are going to build it. You see how we build your kingdom? Yes, many years of slavery. Yes, they are going to do the same thing. Family it says the rules are just being reversed. That's right. Israel is going on top and the rest of the nations are going to the bottom. That's simple. There's no argument there, family. If anybody tells you that this is a universal salvation, everybody's going to receive a new body, no, they are lying to you. Because the book clearly says it. But this book here is the book of Israelite. If you're not an Israelite, you shouldn't have this book in your hand. That's right. When Yahweh Shai came, all the 12 apostles that, and many apostles that came, family, they were all Israelite. They were not from all these nations. And all the prophets were all Israelite. They were not from any other nation. <laughs> so family, the Lord is not the author of confusion. Mm -mm. These nations though, they are. America, Esau, that's right. They're all about confusion. Eh? They use universal, uh, uh, universal salvation. That's what they've been preaching over the years. The family, the Lord said that we're going to have this song, this new song. That's right. This is the song of the kingdom. That's what we're going to be singing pursuing to Revelation chapter 14. This song was not given to the churches. No. They're still preaching the, the, uh, the, uh, the, the virgin birth of, uh, uh, of Mary. No, 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 no. Mary had sex with Joseph, family. Yes. Actually, you know, just pop in my spirit. Just one precept to, to destroy all that nonsense about the virgin Mary. Here, let's go to wisdom of Solomon. Wisdom of Solomon chapter, it wasn't part of my lesson, family, but here, Wisdom of Solomon chapter 7, straight up, straight to the point. I myself also am a mortal man, hmm? like, 
like to all and the offspring of him that was first made of the earth. Eh? And in my mother's womb was fashioned to be flesh in the time of 10 months, being compacted in blood of the seed, the seed, the seed of men. Okay? And the pleasure that came with sleep. And when I was born, I drew in the common air and fell upon the earth, which is of like nature. And the first voice which I uttered was crying as all other do. I was nursed in swaddling clothes and that with cares. But here, here's the point. For there is no king that had any other beginning of birth. You hear that? Angels don't have sex. Yes. Anyways. Family. Let's go to the, let's finish with the book of Habakkuk. Let's finish with the book of Habakkuk. Chapter 2. Where is, where is my, um, Habakkuk chapter 2. No. Mm. Habakkuk chapter 2. Verse 12. It says, Woe to him that buildeth a town with blood. How was America established? <laughs> Family. <laughs> how was America established? Who was living on the land before they came and took the land? How did they get the land? Did they come in peace? Eh? Yes, this land, America, and most of all the alliance around the world, family, was, was what? Was taken by blood. It says here, this is what the Lord is saying. Woe to him that buildeth a town with blood, meaning destruction to you who buildeth a town with blood, and establish a city by iniquity, by sins. That's right. This is what is coming for you, family. So as you can see, these nations, America is just vile, family. Just, just disgusting. Just disgusting. Our children are not safe anymore. Everywhere you turn on the television, family, you can't watch a show for five minutes without some dis something disturbing, you know, flashing on the screen. Yes. But this is what they're pushing. All oh, these letters, all oh, this alphabet lifestyle, family. The same thing that happened in Sodom and Gomorrah. The same thing is happening now, family. Like the book says in Ecclesiastes, there's nothing new under the sun. Let's finish with that. We'll wrap it up. Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes. One here. Here. Straight to the point. Ecclesiastes chapter one. So family. Ecclesiastes chapter one. Verse nine. The thing that have been, you see, I took, I took you to uh, Sodom and Gomorrah, Genesis chapter 19. That's right. The thing that have been, okay? It is that which shall be. That's the same thing you see in America right now. That's right, family. You can do whatever your heart desires. You can worship everything you want to worship. You can, have, you can marry a tree. You can marry a cow. You can do family. Oh, that's the same thing that was happening in those days. That's what the Lord is telling you right here. It says, is that which shall be? And that which is done is that which shall be done. And there is no new thing under the sun. You see? So if there's no new thing under the sun, and we know that the Lord destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah with missiles, mm -hmm. what do you think is going to be happening to America? Family, it is going to be the same thing. That's going to be... The same thing. Nineveh was destroyed. Yes. The same thing is going to happen here. So this is what we're looking forward to. Lord willing. 
The Lord grant us life to see it. So family, I don't want this thing to be long. We'll leave it there. I hope you edify. So family, there's nothing new under the sun. All the wickedness that they, they were doing back then, the same wickedness is here again. And the same way the Lord took down Sodom and Gomorrah, the same way the Lord is going to take this place also down. With fire. It's that simple. Or praises, honor, glory to our power. The power of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob and our beloved King Yahweh Shai. The beginning and the ending, the Alpha and the Omega. Yes, the conquering lion from the tribe of Judah. And that's exactly how it's coming. The conquering lion. You see, when he came first, he came as a lamb, right? So these devils, these wicked people, the Roman, the Esau and his family were able to put their hands on him and nail him to the cross. But this time now, he told you that you're not going to meet him as a man. Okay, you know what that means? He is coming with the whole angels of heaven in the chariot. That's right, the so-called UFO, that's how the Lord is coming in. So I'm just painting a picture for you, okay? That's how he's coming in his glory. He says, all I shall see him, even those that pierce him, he's going to put that spirit in those people. And they're going to remember that they indeed pierced him. And that's how he's coming. And he's not coming this time as a lamb family, a conquering lion for blood. He's coming to kill. That's how he's coming. A conquering lion meaning he is coming to kill. First, he's coming for his elect. The angels, uh, Matthew 24, 20, 30, he's going to give his angels direction. They're going to gather his elect into the ship. Yes, the chariot. And then he's going to open up. Oh, yes. He's going to open up. Oh, yes. The king, Yahweh is going to, along with Michael family, the, kid, the Lord is going to kill a lot of people. And that's what is coming. For all the wickedness that they've done to the apple of his eyes. The Israelites. You thought that hanging us, raping us, destroying our communities, pushing drugs in our communities. Look at our men now. Look at everything that you've done to us. You honestly think, let me see, let me see this. You honestly think, after everything that you've done, now all of a sudden, eh, you're going to be what? Beamed up? And all this nation that came together and make sure that the name of Israel is not attached to us. They destroyed us. They enjoy seeing us at the bottom. Now all of a sudden, the Lord is going to grant these nations salvation, give them new bodies. Have you lost your mind? No, man. No, your next stop is slavery. That's what is coming for the rest of the nation. Revelation 13, 10. It's slavery. That's what is coming. And you got to start preparing your mind for that. Okay? Don't fight it. This word is clear to the elect. We know what, what is coming. It's clear. We can see it. We can see it. But you is too confusing. Too, you know it, but you are refusing the uh, inevitable. You, you know what is coming, but you know what? It's hard for you to, to, uh, what is it, to accept it. That's right. You are, you are in denial. That's the thing. Yes, that's the word. You are in denial. You are in denial. But unfortunately, the Lord counsel shall stand. Whether you believe it or not. Like Apostle Paul says in the book of Romans chapter 3. Actually, let me finish with that family. That's a beautiful precept. <laughs> That's a beautiful precept. Let's finish with Romans 3.3. 3. Romans 3.3 3 says here. He says, for what if some did not believe? <laughs> it says here. Shall their unbelief make the faith of the Most High without effect? Oh, he says, God forbid. Yea, let God be true. But every man a liar. As it is written, that thou mightest be justified in thy sins and mightest overcome when thou art judged. Woo! So it doesn't matter whether you believe it or not. It is going to happen. You see? All praises to our power, Yahweh. Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Bahashem, Rekakodai, Shalom, family. I hope you were edified. Oh, yes. Esau, he were in trouble. <laughs> 